Hi there, this is Scrappy with you today. Uh, today I am going to, uh, it's going to be a tutorial um, using WordPress on how to get your Zazzle store items embedded onto your website, onto one of your web pages. Um, if you don't know what Zazzle is, Zazzle.com, um, obviously if you came to this video you probably are aware, but it's uh, Zazzle.com is a, uh, you can make your own t-shirts. You can see I've got mugs and, and uh, water bottles and uh, beer mugs and all kinds of stuff. But you can make your own products and sell them. Unfortunately, Zazzle is not very friendly when it comes to incorporating it with your website. They have a whole uh, web store builder. Um, unfortunately, you got it. Unfortunately, you got to know HTML um, to be able to build a store and then embed it in your website. It's a real pain. Um, I'm not very good at HTML, so um, I came up with a workaround. So you can. I'm going to try not to skip anything. A lot of people go too quick on their videos. Um, and I couldn't find any other videos out there like this. So I wanted to make one to uh, help people. It took, <laughs> I was getting pretty frustrated. There is another one called Spreadshirt.com. They're pretty friendly when it comes to, they have an H or an iframe or HTML. Once you build your store, you just copy that iframe or HTML code and you just embed it in your page and your store, bam, it's right there. Um, however, I like Zazzle products better. I just don't like that they don't do that for you. So anyways, enough said there. Um, the three tabs I've got open um, is, of course, the back end of my WordPress site. I am using HostGator. Um, HostGator to uh, um, host my site, and I have the WordPress plugin, so that's my back end. If you go to my site, sworn one of my sites, sworn fewmc.com uh, you can hit one of the host gator uh, banners and you can get a pretty good discount right now on uh, if you want to host a website so anyways the other tab I have open is of course my website my actual website I'm working on uh, which is uh, my sworn few website and then I've got uh, my Zazzle store open my Zazzle page so we'll get started I am using the Karma theme. I purchased it from Theme Forest. Um, I don't use really use the stock WordPress themes. I like purchasing one that has more options. Most of the themes that you buy come with short codes. So I'm sure that even if you're not using the Karma, uh, this tutorial and this workaround will uh, show you um, how to use some sort of short code. They, a lot of them come with columns, short code, and things like that that you'll see in a minute and hopefully you can incorporate it and make this work. So let's get started. All right, first thing we're gonna go, I'm in the back end of course, I'm gonna go to my pages. I wanna go to my store page, which I have. As you can see my regular website, I've got home, club, chapters, gallery, and then here's my store. So we're in the back end. Pages, store, I'm gonna edit my pages, or my store, excuse me. All right, I'm gonna go into visual here. Everybody should be familiar with this with WordPress. Okay. Here's this little plus sign is my Karma shortcuts short codes description. Every theme will come with probably their own button and short codes. So this is just how I do it with the Karma theme. I'm going to find a short code, and this is the one I like. Um, there's all different columns and layouts, videos and pictures, but I'm going to use uh, the two column layout. I'm going to insert that. All right. And what we'll do now, I've got this here, and all I'm going to do is uh, I want more than two columns. I want them to keep going down the web page. Let's do my actual website. We'll refresh it. And you will see that content goes here, content goes there. That's where I could write text. Back here, content goes here. I could write a bunch of text and do, do whatever I wanted. Okay. But I want these to keep going because I want to put multiple products. So I want another one and another one and another and another. Okay, so we'll go back here. This is the just the easy way to do it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna copy that short code. I'm gonna return and I'm gonna paste that short code. And I'll just 
actually copy all this. Excuse me. I'm just going to copy this here. Copy. And I'm going to paste it. Okay. That should give me, if we update, that should give me plenty of columns to work with. If we go in the website now and refresh it, it's going to show content goes here. So I've got six different columns to work with. Okay. Now we're in here, instead of content goes here, we're actually gonna put our HTML code in there, our products from WordPress, okay? Or excuse me, from Zazzle. So we go to the Zazzle store, and I've got a bunch of products here. I'm gonna start with a men's shirt. That's just one of the products I have. I click on the product. I need to get the HTML code. So we go to share. You can see you can do all Facebook stuff and Twitter, but. You can email it and then we want to link to this. That gives me my HTML code right here for this product. I'm just going to copy that. Okay. I'm going to go back into the back end of my WordPress site. Okay. Here's where you have to remember to do this. If I just delete this content here and put my HTML code in, you're going to see what happens. Okay. And I'll show you why. If we update our site, it's going to actually show all that HTML code. So you can't make this mistake. Okay. If you do, you'll figure it out. So I'm going to refresh my site. And you're going to see in this content goes here is all my HTML code. That's not what you want. So let's go back into the back end of my site and do this the right way. I'm going to delete all this or copy it, cut it, whatever. All right. This is where our content's gonna go. All right. We actually, when we paste our content goes in, when we paste our HTML code, we make, need to make sure and be in the text where we can do HTML. So you gotta go to the text and then it won't show up as the actual code. It'll show up as the product, okay? I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna paste my code in there. All right, square that up a little bit and I'm gonna update. Now you'll see that we're in the text and we put the HTML code in there. We're gonna to go to the website, refresh. Now you're gonna see the product show up here, okay? All right, let's do that again. Right here, content goes here. We need to go get another, go to my Zazzle store. And I am going to, let's go to a woman's shirt that I'm selling. Again, share. And I want to link to this. I want to get the HTML code. Copy it. Close this. Go back to the back end of my WordPress site. Again, another column. It's my second column. Get rid of that. And we're in the visual or the text, remember, not the visual text. And paste. I'll just square it up there. Okay. And update. Okay, refresh my website, and there should be the woman's shirt there now. There it is, okay. We'll do one more. I'm sure you're getting it. Go to my Zazzle store, and let's find another product. I think I'll do a men's sweatshirt next. Again, go down here to share. We gotta get the HTML. HTML link to this file, copy, close this back into my WordPress site. Instead of writing text, I'm gonna put HTML there. Remember, we're in the text, not visual. Paste that in there. All right, and update. After it updates, we'll go to the website, the actual website, and there'll be the new product down here will be the sweatshirt, right here where it says content goes here. We'll refresh our website. And there it is, and as you can see, you can just keep doing as many products as you want. Um, and now that this is our actual website, of course, somebody comes to our website, goes to our store, um, and goes to my store, they can see the products, and if they wanna buy a product, they can actually click on that actual product, and they can see a description of it and everything, and then it'll take them right to my Zazzle store, and it's got the price there, they can pick the right. And of course, uh, yeah. I guess that is the tutorial. I hope that helps somebody.
like I say, I couldn't find it out there. Um, I kind of came up with a workaround, a way to do it. So hopefully that's an easy way to get your um, Zazzle products into your WordPress site. I hope it works with the theme you have. Um, just to use a short code that you have. I'll probably do the same thing. You could do four columns if you wanted. Um, on, on my site, um, let's go back here. Oh, sorry, we'll go to my store. On my site, you have to understand these images here, um, the size they come stock from. So you're just gonna have to figure out um, how big you want your image. Um, and if you're, if you know some HTML, uh, I haven't really looked at this, but you can probably get in here and change the sizes a little bit if you wanted. Um, but anyways, we won't get into that in this tutorial. But that is an easy way to get it into your WordPress site. I hope you uh, like this video. Hit like if you like it. And I hope to come out with some more tutorials in the future on uh, some WordPress sites and Karma stuff, Karma theme stuff. All right. Thank you very much.